Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Media True Nerd, and welcome back to Starfield. Where last time, we made a big impact in Aquila City, helping out the Marsha with a bank heist, and assisting a senior Free Star Ranger's daughter, and... Uh, I get the feeling I'm going to be really bloody happy I did that. Because it turns out the mother of the girl I helped is the exact person I need to speak to if I want to join the Rangers, so... Uh, Oh, go on then. That first mission in the bank was really bloody badass, so sign me up, Emma. I am on board. Just so you know what you're getting into, I'll explain who we are and what we do. Well, the Freestar Rangers ensure the safety and security of the Freestar Collective and its people. We might hunt down a fugitive, break up a smuggling operation, investigate a starship theft, or put some would-be bank robbers behind bars. Whatever needs doing to keep the people safe, we do. Okay, well I am completely on board because, uh, yeah, that bank heist was like the most badass mission in the game so far for me. So, uh, sign me up Emma, I am ready for my first mission. Ah, but first things first, yes, yeah, so we can just, you know, ask a few questions and, uh, you know what, that is kind of important to me, I do have a mortgage. Emma, how much do you pay? Because... Uh, my time is precious, and uh, just so you're aware, the UC Vanguard pay me extraordinarily well for my time. Like, we're talking sign-on bonuses and everything. I'll say right up front that if you're looking to get rich, this ain't the line of work for you. But, yeah, we do get paid from time to time to help with expenses and such. Oh dear, that is not what I wanted to hear, so... Okay, that first mission was badass, I am willing to, you know, keep going with this anyway, and... Uh, Yes, indeed. Like, by the sounds of it, you are a fairly small elite organization. The number's always changing due to retirements, recruiting, and unfortunately, death in the line of duty. But as far as I know, there's never been more than a dozen rangers at any one time. Bloody hell, that is a lot less than I was expecting, given, yeah, Freestar Space is not huge, but like multiple cities across multiple planets and... Uh, a fairly large amount of space, to be honest, so... Right, that is not what I was expecting to hear at all. And, uh, actually, you know what? Arguably, this is the most interesting one. Where do you guys fit into the Freestar Collective? Like, this is an entire culture built around uh, independence and freedom and not really wanting to be bothered by the government or whatnot. By design, anyone who comes here, they want to be left alone. So in which case, yes, like... How do you function? What's your authority? How do you fit into this society? Well, in theory, a Freestar Ranger can go anywhere in Freestar Collective space, uh, even private property. But of course, it doesn't always work out that way. We also have jurisdiction over any local security when we're tracking a fugitive. Okay, sounds like I might be spot on there. Like, they're supposed to be able to just go where they want, do what they want, even private property. But she was definitely implying doesn't always work out that way so right there might potentially be tension between the rangers and the free star citizens on occasion gotcha right emma let's get on to my first mission proper here before i hand you a badge i need to know you can handle the job you helped out with the hostage situation but sometimes people just get lucky tell you what Use the mission terminal and take one of the listed jobs. Your choice. Come back alive, and we'll talk about you joining up. Okay, Emma. I can't help but feel it's a bit weird to suggest I may have just been lucky when what I did was storm the building with a silent shotgun and then use my magic space wizard powers to disable the hostage takers. That's not luck, alright? That's me being a cocking space wizard. So here we go, we've got ourselves, yes, a mission board right here in the bar. So here we go, this is basically, yes, a bounty board. It's all about killing people, though by the looks of it, yes, these top two, we've got an actual location, suggesting these are down on the ground, uh, and yeah, these bottom two are just a target system. So that would suggest uh, maybe, yes, that ship-to-ship -ship combat. The uh, Lantana system, I do not believe I've been to yet, so, okay, sure. We'll take that because, yes, while we're out and about on my ship, there are a couple of things I did want to quickly grab. Here we go, I'm now sitting on, yeah, two distinct power from beyond missions. So there's a couple of temples out there I now know the location of and, uh, yeah, after the bank job, 
I really feel like, yes, I may have been underestimating and underutilizing my space powers because uh, bloody hell, the anti-gravity was pretty amazing in that vault. So, okay, let's go grab ourselves a couple of new dragon shouts. Oh, especially as one of them is apparently just over the road. Right, that's why I picked up a second one. Presumably my ship, like, picked up the signal or something. So, okay, I see what we're doing here. Lovely. So, okay, let's motion over to Skink. Now I've got the scanner anomaly. Yeah, this should be a matter of just walking up to the temple, doing the light puzzle, and we are straight on our way. Ooh, I tell you what, I like this planet, by the way. Like, you know, beautiful and mountainous and whatnot. So, all right, I definitely see something going on over there. Just give ourselves a little bit of a scan. Actually, you know what? While I'm passing by... I do need more nickel. I'm almost out of it. So, okay, that's bloody convenient. And there she is, barely over the hill. So, all right, so let's see what we've got on this occasion. Right, in we go. I'm the chosen one. Sam, stop trying to be the chosen one. You're not the chosen one. I'm the chosen one. Okay, these shapes in my vision, they are definitely getting, like, more clear as time goes on. And hang about. We've got ourselves a 200 XP and a precognition. Bends time and glimpses the future, seeing the path someone will walk and the words they may say. So, okay, if I, like, you know, use that right now. Holy sh... I ain't never getting used to that. No direct path seen. I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure what that one does. Oh, hang on. Right. When it means the future, it means, uh, yes, rather literally, in conversation. So... Okay, it gives me an idea as to how someone will reply to what I'm about to tell them, which, you know, with companions is kind of useless, but if I was dealing with, you know, some form of a high-stakes negotiation with another character, basically, it just lets me peek into the future to see whether or not people like what I'm about to say. So, okay, I mean, I'm not going to be using it all the time, but, you know, just occasionally, that could be rather useful. And here we go, power number two, just next door. Yes, indeed, I remember Polvo, so... Okay, I must have flown straight past this one without noticing it. So here we go, Kindy, completely unremarkable, a fairly basic minerals, etc, etc, so... Okay, just mosey straight on down, let's see what else we've got. Oh, and this was just meant to be. Moment I land, straight up to level 23, marvellous, and... Uh, John, that's not the tower, that's just one of many anomalies. Do the same old puzzle, a straight in we go, I'm getting, yeah, very good at doing those, and... Seriously, I need a better hat. I see my head every time I'm, you know, the chosen one in the chosen portal of doom and whatever. And every time, I'm just looking at myself, wearing a dumb baseball cap. And I'm not okay with it, I need a nice cowboy hat, and... Uh, what does it mean? Like, it looks like it's trying to indicate certain bits to me, like bits of the galaxy, but I just don't understand, and uh, personal atmosphere. Okay, another slightly mysterious one. Oxygen, pure and clean, are brought forth to breathe deep and counteract harmful carbon dioxide. By that, do you just mean I can now generate stamina when I need it? Here we go, just sprint around a bit till my oxygen gets a bit on the low side. And now in just a second, uh, yeah, just crack this open and bang. Okay, instant refill if need be. And on top of that, while I'm in this atmosphere, infinite O2. So okay, while it's here, which is while the lights are dancing, which appears to be... Uh, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 seconds. Uh, basically, uh, I've got infinite stamina. Ah, yes, and don't forget, John, you do now have a skill point. So, okay, can't deny. I did rather enjoy my stealth shotgun. So, stealth 2, that is potentially of interest, yes, though. Ooh. I need to kill just a handful of somethings with a shotgun. Or, just one more thing with explosions, and I would not mind my shotgun moving in the right direction. Like, my new shotgun is a cocking beast. So, all right, in we come and... Oh, okay, we have got trouble, but that's absolutely A-OK, -okay because, uh, yes, I have got plenty of cocking firepower, oh, buddy. 
buddy, 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 buddy. You are going to regret this in a second. Oh, yeah. That's you nice and dead. Let's just have a few more corpses to add to the pile, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, flippin' yeah. Oh, flippin' yeah. That's you almost done. I think I took out your engines by mistake. Nope, never mind. You're dead. And I will accept some thank you money from Sistef while I'm passing through. So, okay, relay station, that's where we're supposed to be going. Spaceship debris, that's literally the debris of the thing I just shot down, which is delightful. But yes, while we're passing through. Alright, pretty big system, plenty of stuff going on by the Luxiovets. Pretty flimsy on the mining though, no desperate exciting points of interest, and let's get straight on to my main objective. One gang leader needs to die, do not forget, it doesn't need to be the entire gang, as long as he's dead, the job is done. Alright, down we come, looks like a pretty standard dead moon here, no atmosphere, no life, and no anything, so... Alright, let's get in here and make this happen, Sam, we've got to impress our new friends over in Aquila. Well, okay, I do. Sam doesn't, Sam's a local cocking hero. And if I can just get a handful of kills with my shotgun, then better and flip it better. So, uh, there we go. Deserted relay station, 300 odd meters in this direction. Here we go, coming up on my target. Nice thing about low gravity is, yeah, you can get up high in order to scout the place out nice and easy. I don't see anyone outside at all. Though I do see... Ooh. Okay. Nice giant golden ball tower in the distance. I may go check that out on the way out. I don't know, but... Okay. In we go. Nice and slow, nice and careful. Get some kills with the shotgun. Toss in a few explosives. And... Something's here. Alright, where's the cocking door? And... Ooh, John. Don't forget, the whole point is you're killing a one and only one person if that's what needs to be done. And that quest marker just moved. Okay, that's my target. It's him over there. Looks to me like, yeah, we might have a nice... Oh, it is... Okay, who the flip just gave the game away? Because it wasn't me, Sam, and you're the only other person here. So, okay, we're now in caution. Get down. Reload. I am liking my stealth shotgun. This thing is mighty right. So it's eclipsed it we're looking for. And I kind of thought that what I was looking for was like, yes, pirates, not mercs, but fine. Just to mosey on up in this direction. In we go. Nice and careful. All right, if we're lucky, we can take out a few more before they even know what's going on. I think possibly, yes, things may have got a bit wrong, actually. Right, just start tossing in a Surma grenade. Hello over there, guys. Don't mind me. Take you out and get into cover. There's definitely some chaff or something going on. Right. Oh, I see you over there. And you are the, you're the gang leader. And I'm pretty sure you've just exploded, right? Well, all right. I've also been instantly paid. That's bloody convenient right there. So, okay, now we just need to, yes, take out the remainder. I could just make a run for it if I wanted to, but I'm pretty sure he was legendary. So, John, stop using the explosive weaponry like this. Like, you know, it's good, but against these guys, uh, oh, yeah. How about my breach gun instead? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that'll flip and do the job. And that there was an explosives kill. So, yes, when you kill someone with explosive rounds, uh, you kind of roll the dice as to whether it was the explosive uh, or the bullet that did it, which I find delightful. Also, buddy, I think you may be stuck in a door. I'm very sorry about that. Okay, I think that's pretty much all we've got in there. No mugs, sadly, which would have been, you know, the perfect end to my murder excursion. But for the time being, okay. I can't resist a giant tower with a mysterious golden ball on top. I mean, it could just be a science outpost, but honestly, even if it is, that's kind of good. Because, yes, those typically come with a shop, and I do need to sell some stuff. Okay, interesting. I mean, I was right. It is a science outpost, but... 
It would appear to be one manned entirely by robots on this occasion. No sign of actual people and distinct warnings that tell me yes. If I like... Oh. I mean, I'd say kill bots. But they don't appear to be like, you know, uh, trying to kill me. If I go inside, are they going to be a bit, you know, uh, nasty with me on the way out? Because... Oh. Oh. Why is an automated voice telling me to, like, leave the area? This is a science station. I'm a xenobologist. I'm completely supposed to be here and... Uh-oh. Why did that door just sort of move? And just in, around. What precisely is going on here? Okay, motion upstairs. Nothing immediately stands out aside from a... Yeah, some more dead people. But we do have... a want a usable computer here. So, okay. It is advised to avoid adjusting the number of human workers beyond the recommended capacity listed in your starter handbook. Studies indicate that organic workers are highly inefficient, less durable, and vulnerable to a variety of stress factors. So, okay. What we're gonna do is, oh. Did someone just push the wrong button at one point? I think possibly someone just pushed the wrong button. So, we're going to Authorize human workers. So, okay. Currently, two. That's fine. And if I want to, I could turn off the robots. But honestly, there's no reason to. Because, uh, right. I suspect someone just, you know, pushed the wrong button at one point. I may have uh, slightly by accident murdered everybody. Still, we do have one nice thing here. Which is, yes, one locked storeroom at the end. I can just about get into. Right, crack you open. Nice and easy. And, okay. What have you got for me here? And uh, you know what? I will take a giant pile of money and a giant pile of lubricant. That sounds like a good weekend to me. And crucially, my robot friends are now nice and chill again. So okay, that was a fun little diversion. Let's get back to, yes, Freestar Space. Emma should hopefully be lovely and impressed by all this. Ooh, and better and better that skill point. So, uh, I mean, I am also up to, uh, yes, expert tech perks. So... Uh, I could start putting, you know, improved modules on my ship. Okay, I feel like my ship is like, you know, good enough for now. We do not need more in that regard. Let's go for, yeah, shotgun up to the next level. Because shotguns are doing beautiful work for me. Also, I just noticed floating literally, yes, just outside Aquila. And I must have just completely walked past this previously. There is a Trident Luxury Line shipyard here. So, okay, that's kind of cool sounding. So, all right, just a mosey straight through the asteroid field. Uh, hi there, guys. Uh, what are you precisely in? Are you guys willing to, you know, let me say hello, come and visit, etc., etc.? Trident Staryard acknowledging hail. All customers are warmly welcome. Okay, this might be like Hope Town. You know, a source of sexy parts I've not seen before. Welcome to Trident Luxury Lines where we craft the finest and most luxurious starships in the galaxy. If you have any questions about our product line, or would like to book a cruise, I'll do my very best to assist you. Now, how may I help you today? Oh, okay, this is... this is interesting. Are you guys selling ships, or are you selling cruisers on ships? I'm not entirely clear here. Yes, can I buy, like, ships or parts? We do not sell ships or parts at this location. And it's not like you would have any use for parts or modifications anyway. A Trident ship is already perfect, as it is. If you have your own ship, we're always looking for bulk resources. The Staryards have negotiated a set price with the Trade Authority, twice the market rate. Okay, that sounds rather interesting. So you guys are willing to pay way over what every other shop will for certain specific resources? So what we need is... Iron. We need a medium shipment. 2,000 units of it. Right. So this is the point where, yes, you need outposts. When you start dealing with uh, proper large organizations like this. So, okay. 2,000 iron. That's probably not as difficult as it sounds, actually. 
Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I think we can make this happen, potentially. Here we go. Just around the corner. We've got Burren right here. So, we got ourselves a giant pile of iron. Basically, anywhere you care to look. Then we just step outside and, would you believe, there's literally cocking iron right by the landing site. So, okay. When I said there was iron everywhere, I was not cocking kidding. Right, so that down one outpost. Beautiful. As we were just saying, just slap down some solar power to get this operational. And then a begin Operation Iron Extraction, though. Okay, don't have enough iron or enough... Okay, aluminium is not going to be a problem, alright? Let's just put it that way. Lovely to see you, Lynn. I'm sure you're doing excellent work. Don't mind me, I'm just here to pick up a handful of lovely, lovely aluminium and... Uh, Okay, these guys have stopped working because we're out of space for aluminium. So that is, uh, right, 159 in a single storage case. Okay, iron miners at check. So now we do is, yeah, set up some storage. So uh, just to slap you down uh, right over there. And at the moment, that's all I can afford because, right, I need adaptive frames uh, and more iron. But that's fine, because now we're mass producing iron. So literally create an output link on all of you guys into this one central box. And straight away that's up to right. 5% fall, 6 iron. If 6 iron represents 5%, then 12 is 10%, suggesting it's about 120 to fill up the whole thing. So yeah, that would be 10 for 1,200 roughly 18 for 2,000. We don't need to do this like, you know, all in one go. We literally can't fit it in the ship. Here we go. Iron weighs 0 0.6 a go. So 2,000 would weigh approximately 1,200-ish. Right, that's... I mean, it's a lot. But like, now I've improved the ship in terms of uh, how much it can carry. Two trips, we could be done with this. Okay, so here's what I've done. We have got, yes, iron miners uh, that feed into uh, this crate. This crate feeds into this crate, this into this, and so on and so forth, and down to the bottom. So, uh, yes, the iron is going to enter here, and then be passed along to the end until such time as this one is filled up with 120 iron. At which point, yes, it'll get stuck in this one, then this one, then this one. So if I just wait long enough and come back later, that should generate just over 1,000 iron, as it's 9 times 120 when it's completely filled up. So yes, we literally just come back later. Then in two trips, that's enough iron to make the cruise ship people happy. Marvellous. And I tell you what, when you're running around over capacity, having the ability to just generate oxygen so you could keep running, oh no, that's actually pretty bloody useful. Because now I can just basically sprint around even though I'm over encumbered and the game just doesn't care anymore. Okay, back to the bar and Emma, I have successfully oh, hey done there. the murder. You did what I asked, so let's go meet the marshal. Follow me. We are headquartered in the upper floors of the rock, but we also have remote stations throughout Freestar Collective Space. Helps us to identify and respond to threats more quickly. Like I said before, there are less than a dozen rangers in all, and we operate with limited resources. Thankfully, most people respect us and are willing to cooperate. In this job, your eyes, ears, and wits are every bit as important as your badge and your sidearm. Marshal. Emma, I came in here because you're satisfied that our new crew can handle the job. Violent tendencies aside, I'd say yes. All right, then. Step forward, recruit. Let me have a word with you. I've got just one question. Do you pledge to defend the people of the Free Star Collective, even if it means risking your own life? Okay, so, um... Funny old thing, I kind of already pledged my life to defending the UC, even if it cost me my life. So, please don't go back to war. If you go back to war, that's going to put me in a really difficult position. Good. Here, take these. You're now a Free Star Ranger deputy. I'm assigning you to Ranger Wilcox for some field training. Listen good to what she tells you. Welcome aboard, deputy. Congratulations. The Rangers ain't a bad outfit, and they're lucky to have you. Wish we could throw you a welcome party, but there's work to do. 
We got word from a farmer on Montero Luna. She says someone's trying to take her farm, and she's afraid she might be in danger. Okay, now that sounds a very exciting, but, 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 did you guys just give me a hat? Like, a cowboy hat? Because if you did, okay, I do actually pledge my loyalty to you. We are golden. I will murder as many UC citizens as you want. All right, just point me at them. I will mow them the cock down. But, okay, let you know, not say that out loud. They might think I was bananas. So, okay. Tell me about the farmer, tell me about the planet. Let you know, get the information we need before we go causing trouble by not knowing what's going on. Well, it's a moon that orbits Montera. It's got a breathable atmosphere, warm climate, and good soil for growing. Alright, sounds like a nice enough place, and uh, the farmer. Just a name, Michaela Wagner. There have been Wagoners on Montera Luna for a long time, and I'm sure they're proud of that heritage. Okay, so... Yeah, makes sense you guys wouldn't have, like, you know, a big centralised database of citizens with information about them. Doesn't really feel like the Freestar way. Grab any supplies you might need, and let's get going. And, oh, right, we're just gathering an entire bloody crowd of rangers following me about. But before that, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What we've got here is... Never mind, I'm signing up with the UC Vanguard again, and we are gunning these cocky traitors down. How dare you? How dare you sign me up to the cowboy police, and then give me another cocky baseball cap? What is this, Bethesda? Why is it nothing but baseball caps? Okay, I'll give you, though. The uniform's kinda nice, that's okay. Also, hilariously, over on Blake's computer, which apparently I'm allowed to use, yes, over in his personal diary... At this point, I'm willing to accept any halfway decent candidate who walks into the rock. So, uh, right, I think they're just kind of getting a bit desperate in terms of recruitment. Like, I'm not necessarily that special just because they've deputised me immediately. As for the marshal, uh, right, someone's trying to push him into retirement. The question is, who are the governors? Where do they rule from, if not an Aquila, given, you know, uh, the rangers are based in uh, the biggest, most central building in town? Now, that's interesting because... Uh, Kind of feels like, you know, this should be a very decentralised society that would not accept the existence of governors who get to push around the rangers, but they must be somewhere, I guess. Right, keep an eye out for them. And oh my goodness, they've even given me a space revolver. That does look rather sexy, I won't deny. Here we go, just next door we've gone to Montara, and then fascinatingly, this moon, which is like the third moon, is called Montara Luna. Which does admittedly make me feel kind of bad for the other moons. Like, you know, they're Montara Luna 2. They didn't do anything wrong. This feels like very unfair naming. Still, here we go. Wagoner Farm. Let's see what we've got going on here. And here we go. Wagoner Farm. So, yes, we've seen this before. Like, automated circular farms. They seem to just, like, take care of themselves. I saw these on the outskirts of Jemison back in the day. So, right. Let's get out there and see what's going on precisely. Oh, I'll give you, though. Not the best weather today. Bit dusty, to be honest. So, all right. Keep on keeping on. Let's go have a chat with, uh, yes, Michaela. See what she's got to worry about. Yes, yes, yes. Don't need to wave. I see you over there, Michaela. We're getting to you. Don't worry. The Free Star Rangers. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. I'm Ranger Emma Wilcox. My deputy and I are here to help. Now, tell us what happened. I was out planting in the fields when I saw some men approaching. They look like soldiers with uniforms and weapons and such. They wanted to buy the farm. Didn't even ask if it was for sale. Their offer was so low, I told them right where they could stick it. They said they'd give me time to think about it, but if I didn't change my mind, I was going to regret it. Then they left. Okay, nothing too complicated. Sounds like a basic shakedown. Just come in buy the farm at less than its value, under the threat of violence, then just sell it to someone else down the line, potentially. So, you know, if I had to guess, this doesn't sound like, you know, a space or crimson fleet behaviour. Probably ecliptic. But, if so, who's paying them to do it? Unless, of course, this is just, you know, a nice sideline of business for them, a nice easy way to make some money. So, yes, indeed. Soldiers. Like, you know, could you be a bit more specific, Michaela? That's right. The uniforms look like the ones worn by Free Star soldiers back during the war. They had a certain steel in their eyes. Like men who were used to violence. I was in fear for my life. 
okay. Or possibly, yes, old veterans who have gone a bit on the dodgy side. So uh, give us numbers, Michaela. There were four, but when they were walking away, I heard them talking like there were others. Maybe there's more out there. Okay, so not many up front, but potentially more than that. And uh, yes, like I'm pretty sure there are farms all over Freestar Space. In fact, you know, if you guys want to get out on your own, do your own thing, be self-sufficient, then... Uh, a lot of people are going to have to have farms. In which case, why this one particularly? Nothing I can think of, no. Truth is, we're in some hard times here. The last harvest was the worst we've had in a long time. Besides, it ain't like there's a lack of available land around here. Okay, this is a bit suspicious, that's certainly true. So, uh, yes indeed. If they're going to come back, they must be waiting somewhere nearby. We can maybe track them down. Back behind the house are some canyons. They went that way. That place is dangerous. Steep slopes, narrow trails, rock slides, and all manner of hostile creatures, too. If you're going after those men, be careful. Oh, there's one other thing. They said they were the first. The first of what, I'm not sure. But there must be more of them coming. Thank you, ma'am. That should be enough for us to find these men. All right, deputy. Keep that weapon handy and your eyes sharp. Since these guys don't know we're after them, they're probably not making an effort to hide their tracks. Now, let's go and check out those canyons. Let's move quick and steady. Heads on a swivel. Glad to have you along, Sam. Okay, that's super cute that Emma actually responds to Sam being here, and uh, yes indeed. This actually makes a lot of sense, so... Uh, yeah, just to prove I was capable of doing the job, she sent me to go and do some murder, just a nice simple bounty. And now for my first mission, she's coming along, I'm just a deputy. I've got to prove in front of her, I can actually, you know, do the job capably before she sends me out on my own. So here we go, by the looks of it, yes, it's not just this one small family, they've also got various farmer hands who live in like, you know, a small bunkhouse over here or something. And then next door with the big W, yes, this will be there. Now, I think someone mentioned you guys have been farming for generations here. So, right, this has been your land for quite some time. I can see why you wouldn't want to sell it. And, uh, oh, it's rather nice, actually. This is lovely. But I just want to, you know, check the table for maybe any notes or whatnot. Just to see if maybe I can figure out, yes, whether you've done anything to draw attention to yourselves at any point. And you know, if I were to happen to stumble across any cowboy hats while I was just wandering around, then I would not say no to potentially helping myself to just, you know, one cowboy hat. But, tragically, no. Oh, but I tell you what, it was worth searching the place because apparently there is the Adventures of Solomon Co. right here. And a bonus bit of weapon damage at night too. Okay, unless I've missed something and nothing going on here in terms of notes. So, right. Out the back, and let's see what we've got. Oh dear, we may have some trouble though, right. In the canyon, a swarming sunflower. Which sounds like, you know, nice and sweet and cute. But I'm guessing isn't, so okay. Thing off, and just, no, 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 no trouble, no trouble at all, and John, just don't bother with, you know, the tiny explosive handgun. It's not doing the job anymore, clearly. So, okay, just go for two. A nice shotgun. My coachman should do the job very nicely. Oh, yeah. That's getting the job done right over there, though. Looks like you... Okay, either you can bury underground, or you just sort of, like, you know, fell out of the world a bit. It's hard to tell with Bethesda games. So, all right. Keep on keeping on. A check around. There was definitely... Oh, level one. There was that... I thought I heard you appearing behind me. Oh, they can, yeah, bury it. Oh, blimey, 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 blimey. It's all fine. There's three of us today. It's all good to be A-OK. -okay. And in addition, oh dear. That looks like a lot more boot tracks. And there's also a sign of, yeah, people have been around this way at some point. There's definitely stuff here. Keep on keeping on and watch out for these swarming bastards. But yeah, I feel like my shotgun has very much got their number. This is... Did you just try and charge them so you could stab them? All right, the rangers cocking badasses, but... Tough break, farmer. Hopefully whatever got them doesn't get us. Okay, no, no, no. He died for a good reason. Because he died. That I may have a hat that's not a cocky baseball hat. 
I mean, I wouldn't call it like, you know, a full-on cowboy hat, but it is much better. Right, just to move on, stay out of the water. Don't mind me, John, do reload your guns. Like, you know, you should definitely be reloading your guns on a more regular basis, especially when there's only two shots in the bastard. So, uh, that's just metabolic. I thought I flipping heard you coming around trying to get behind me, dear oh flipping dear. Right, just keep on keeping on. There's some good XP to be got out of all of this. There's also a pack Opto Magnet over there. Right, just get a nice easy shot on. Oh dear, that's a bit of a problem. What are you guys doing? Oh, I'm pretty sure you're spitting at me actually. And there's also the several more. Right, grenade. And then more grenade and everything's going to be fine. Right, crack out the big shotgun for this nonsense. Oh, that'll flip it, do the job right there. Lovely. Okay, just take out these guys. I do not like them. They're big and scary. Just stay on the high ground. And boom. Boom. Lovely. And down goes another one. And yeah, I don't think they can really get up to me. So as long as we stay on the high ground, we should be just at flipping golden. There was definitely one more. Take out your stupid bastards. Oh, that'll flip it do. And there's level 24 as well. Marvellous. Though I have apparently just been a tiny bit lacerated. Also, good. Came down at just the right moment. And just beyond that, hello, Saxe. I think we got him. So, okay. What are we looking at here? I see a ship. I see, is that three people in the middle over there? And you on a target range. Okay. We could take him out. But the game is saying confront. Suggesting we might be able to deal with this without trouble. So okay, down a cocktail. Need to go and buy more of those actually. And now, guns away. Hang about. That symbol. An orange one is that. Does anyone know what that means? Because there was the implication these might be veterans from the colony war. So, uh, alright guys, no trouble. And, okay, they're worried about the rangers. Look who's here. Ms. Wagner called in the cavalry. <laughs> Except it ain't much of a cavalry. I suggest you turn around and walk away while you still can. Okay, so I get the feeling, yes, they're not exactly going to be very keen to walk away. Bare minimum, let's open up a dialogue here. Don't recognize the uniforms. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. It's like the Major said, everyone's conveniently forgotten. Forgotten our sacrifice. Forgotten how we were betrayed. We'll make them all remember soon enough. I promise you that. I mean, that kind of makes sense in a way. This is Freestar. Once the war's done, you wouldn't expect a big well-funded department for veterans affairs or anything. So, uh, right. I'm guessing these guys feel like they got a bit screwed over once the war was done. But yes, let's get back to business here. Why that particular farm on this particular moon? Oh, it ain't exactly the farm that's special. But that ain't none of your business. Okay, if it's not the farm that's special, that would suggest that maybe... The people. The wagoners, they were saying, yeah, been there for a long time, and maybe once upon a time, they were important. Maybe a wagoner, like, you know, her dad or granddad or something, was someone important in the military. Okay, come on. We need to have a chat here, buddy. Tell me what's going on. You think you're in a position to make demands. Well, I've got news for you. All you're getting from me is a shallow grave. So... Got any last words I should try to remember? I feel like maybe we should just have shot them from the canyon walls. That would have been easier. So how about we just chill out? Literally no chance to do any of that. Okay, that's all absolutely fine. Just toss in one a grenade. Lovely. And I think I just nuked myself out. Oh, blimey, I'm trapped in a corner. Right, guys. Does anyone know where the backup is? Because... I swear I was supposed to have backup here. Like, where are the other rangers? I don't know where they are. Right, one grenade for you idiots. That's done something. Good, 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 good. Let's just take out, you know, the wheat ones. Use the rocks as cover. Get round the outside. You know what? You're a bit isolated, buddy. So bang, bang. And I'm so sorry if I just exploded you. That was a mistake. Right, 
One more grenade for you, idiots. Let's take out the level 10. Ruffian, that's you nice and... Oh, I'm almost... Okay, let's um try this again. All right, stay on the outskirts. Stay on the outskirts. Take out the level 10 ruffians as the priority. Go over to... Honestly, the old earth shotgun feels like it's doing the job. Wait, wait. Oh, he's definitely got explosives. Yeah, that was the guy who's got the explosives right over there. Emma's gone in. Take out... Will you stop attempting to explode me, please? It's very cocking rude of you. Oh, he's definitely got a big explosive thing on him. Just stagger this. Oh, no. Get out the way. Get out the way. He's about to fire again. And stop it. Stop it. And stop it some more, please. Down. You flipping go. Lovely. We've just got some good kills in on you. Also a med theft barrow knife. Still bare minimum. A note, giant pile of bits and pieces, and whatever a bridger is. I'm guessing that's a grenade launcher. And more for any more. There is one more, but you, buddy, you are, yes, not so significant in a way. You go down nice and easy. All right, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. But there was no way to resolve that without murder. So before we speak to Emma, let's have a bit of a look at that there note. My contact on the inside came through. I've got your ship. Grabbed it right out of the factory. How embarrassing for Hope Tank. I'll drop it off at the agreed upon location once the credits are in my account. Okay, we know that, yeah, Hope Town is basically just a very short hop away, barely around the corner. Presumably that's where their ship's from. I think I saw it just up the hill. And, oh yeah, he was definitely using a big heavy grenade launcher thing. And Gotcha. Here we go. This will be the girl they jacked, apparently. But unfortunately, uh, no way inside, no matter, yeah, keys or anything. It's just inaccessible. So, uh, fine. We'll just be leaving her here. Oh, and better and better. By the time we get back, the sandstorm's cleared up. But uh, yes, indeed. Miss Wagner, we need to have a chat about why precisely some old vets would be annoyed with you. I'm guessing it might be something to do with, uh, yes, a previous generation or something. What happened? Did you find those men? Yes, indeed. Very dead. But by the sounds of it, yeah. They were here for a reason. Which suggests someone else might be coming at some point in the future. They say the rangers always get their man, so to speak. I'm sure you'll figure it out. I can't thank you enough. I'd hate to be remembered as the wagoner who couldn't hold on to the farm that's been in the family for so long. Okay, there's definitely, yes, an older wagoner who had something to do with the colony war, if I had to guess. And uh, also, oh my goodness, do the Freestyle Rangers have the same slogan as the Mounties? We always get our man. That's adorable. Because now apparently I am a sci-fi space Wild West Mountie. And that's even better. All right, deputy. Let's get back to the rock. We need to report this to the marshal. All right, so we've got ourselves... Oh, blimey. That was more money than I was expecting, given you specifically said to me you weren't going to be bothering to pay me. But yes, if I had to guess, and maybe our next destination will be Hope Town. Check in there and figure out, yes, what was going on with the Jack ship, because uh, the note was saying someone on the inside. There's definitely something untoward happening inside Hope Town. Oh, yes, and just for fun, while we're passing by... Okay, in the time it's taken me to do basically like one mission and a tiny bit of flying around, uh, we have got ourselves, yeah, that one's up to uh, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, bloody hell, it's already full. It's already completely cooking full, so okay, grab all of this on the way past, please, lovely, though. Why are some of them 125 uh, versus 130? That's bloody weird. I'm now carrying basically 850 pounds of iron. To be precise, yes, just over a thousand of it. So, okay. That was uh, very fast, actually. And yes, now I have to get it back to the ship. Now, uh, the nice thing is, however, though, you know, my auction is running out a bit on the slow side, uh, just activate my personal atmosphere. And now I've got Infinite O2. I can sprint back to the ship under the effect of this. And you know, it barely used up half my power meter. So uh, when it wears off, I'll be ready to activate it again in just a second. So uh, it's kind of incredible when it comes to hauling ridiculous amounts of iron. Right, literally just a sprint back to the ship, a teleport to the cockpit. 
And now as we just nip back inside, oh dear, I have got Hello. good news for you. Oh, this is hilarious. She's expecting it to be on the ship. She's not willing to take it from my pocket. So, okay, back to the ship. We need to put it into the ship for it to count. Okay, but now, now I've got a thousand iron for you and... Okay, I'm a bit underwhelmed by 2,000 credits, but it's better than nothing. Okay, back to Ranger Headquarters. Let's see if he asks. The Marshal's smart enough to put two and two together and figure out the veteran angle, though. Ooh, that does remind me. August, my good man, I need some wine, some cocktails, whatever you've got. Oh, I will take six of your finest Pinot Noirs. Lovely. And now I can get drunk if and when it's needed. Back to the flipping Marshal. Hang on, where are the stairs? I've lost the stairs. Here we go, I found them, we got there in the end. Right, let's have a lovely chat. What's the story on Montero Luna? Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off the land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? Well, bare minimum, we've got the slate, so yes indeed. There's an insider at Hope Tech. I'm guessing that's my next destination. Hope Tech ships ain't exactly cheap. That thief could probably tell us a lot about these men you ran into. There's something else. They were dressed in Free Star Militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. They also said something about being forgotten. They seemed bitter about it. Resentful. Didn't you fight in the Colony War, Marshal? Any of that sound familiar? The 1st Cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera. What was left of it anyway. Oh dear. Right, Battle of Nera I remember from the UC Museum. Like obviously that was the UC's take on it, but... Basically it sounded like a slaughter. A really nasty place where a lot of people got really nastily murdered. So, yeah. Let's get the take on it from this side. The 1st Cavalry lost almost all their mechs and soldiers in a big push to take the United Colony's base. They were just about there when a ceasefire order came down. Both sides had just lost too much by then. It was a bloodbath. The commanding officer of the 1st disobeyed the order. He didn't want the lives of his soldiers to be sacrificed for nothing. And he court-martialed him and the rest of the surviving officers and locked them all up. Okay, so I can see why they'd be a bit annoyed about things. Gotcha, they definitely feel betrayed. So, uh, yeah. Could they be vets or, as you were saying, have they been too long dead? Were they all locked up? Or were those guys too young to actually be present at Nera? I suppose it ain't impossible, but it's real damn unlikely. The unit was pretty much wiped out, and the few that survived ended up in prison after a court-martial for disobeying orders. And I don't recall how long the sentence was. Okay, so, uh, yes, Wagner Farm. By any chance was, uh, yes, like General Wagner the one who gave the order or something? No, it doesn't. Just raises more questions. It's a good bet that Starship Thief can help us get some answers. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. Oh, now that's exciting. We finally get to meet a governor and figure out how they fit into this culture. Speaking of which, let's get your take on it, because your computer would imply you don't like the governors. The ruling body that oversees the Free Star Collective and the Rangers. The council members are the political and corporate elite of the Free Star Collective. So we have to tread lightly when we're dealing with them. Okay, sounds very much like yes, you see yourself working at odds with them, not for them. And yes, Ron Hope. Because various people have said they like Ron Hope, like Sarah seemed a big fan. Proud, stubborn, and smart. A self-made man. 
He built Hope Check through blood, sweat, and sheer willpower. Okay, so play nice until we know what's going on, but... Oh, this sounds like a fun mission. This is your assignment now, Deputy. Work with the other Rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. Good hunting. Okay, so I feel like my probation just ended because Emma Wilcox has stepped aside. So okay, I've joined the Rangers, I've passed my probation, and more importantly than anything else, I'm actually starting to look a bit like a cowboy. So okay, how about we call it a part there because next time... Oh, I'm looking forward to this next mission. We're cracking straight on with the Freestyle Rangers. This is delightful. We're going back to Hope Town. We're going to properly explore it, meet everybody there, and uh, yes, indeed. By the sounds of it, we need to track down a mole on the inside, and that sounds hilarious. So uh, hopefully you join me next time for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Starfield. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, oh, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got ourselves- I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.